the Ian Flyweight belt as well. Paddy, actually in action next week in Scotland before uh, then. Uh, let me say, first of all, great to be back in Belfast. I've covered big fights. I've commentated on Klitschko fights, stadium fights. I've been to Vegas, Madison Square Garden, but nothing, nothing in my experience beats being ringside at the SSC arena when there's a Frampton bill going on. And I can say that for Carl returning to Box Nation and also new viewers are going to be joining us on BT Sport. They are in for a treat. And so is Jamie Moore who's going to experience all of that for the first time. So Jamie, new trainers uh, on the bench with me. Carl's with me as well, Jamie Conlon and indeed uh, Paddy Barnes. We're going to ask some questions. We're going to throw some out to the floor for you as well. And then we'll have one-on-ones uh, for the TV and the press. So you'll get to ask all your juicier questions uh, after on. But feel free to throw those at the boys uh, as we finish. Right, first of all, Carl, all the pieces of the jigsaw are coming together now uh, for you. Uh, new promoter, new trainer. You've got a date. How are you feeling about all of that? I'm very, very excited. Obviously... <laughs> First of all, it's great to be back in Belfast and to be, to be fighting here. The last show um, never happened for whatever reason, but um, I'm just looking forward to kind of repaying the fans for showing the support of me. Um, I've teamed up with MTK now, um, uh, also Frank and, and BT Sport, so it's, it's going to give me a huge platform, I think, to, to perform, and I think that I know that we're going to bring big nights of boxing back to Belfast and obviously you guys like Jamie and, and Paddy as well um, who can share the limelight with me um, they deserve it as well so it's good for boxing it's good for Belfast and uh, I'm very excited about it tickets for that are going to be on sale folks next week for, for the public and for the fans on Wednesday you can get that on SSE Arena uh, Belfast.com you'll be able to go down to the waterfront and, and get them in person at the box office. So they're going to be on sale on Wednesday and November 18th is the date to circle in your diary. You always talk, Carl, about a kind of vision of where you want to be and back in Belfast on a big show is pretty much where you've always said you want to be. Do you, do you have a shared vision with Frank Warren and BT Sport on that and how do you see it developing over the next year? Yeah, look, what I want to do and I've, I've made it public that... A dream of mine is the box at Windsor Park, and uh, I would love to. Obviously, you need the right time of year to do that, and we'll need to wait to kind of end the spring, summertime next year. But I think that, well, I know that Frank and MTK can help me get that, and I think that it's going to be a huge night for myself. It's a dream of mine, you know. This is what I've dreamed of since I was a kid the top of Bill at Windsor, and uh, when I finally get to do that, it's it's, it's going to. It's going to be the highlight of my career, but I want to be here as much as possible. I believe that there can't, there's not an atmosphere like it in boxing. The Belfast atmosphere is always the best. Um, I think BT are going to be excited by what they're going to see. Um, even, you know, look at the turnout here for a press conference. It's, people don't get this for, for fights a lot of times. So Belfast is boom, or boxing is booming in Belfast, and uh, I'm just looking forward to putting on a show. Yeah, you'll be shocked. BT viewers are going to be shocked. I know when I first came over here for three fights with Box Nation, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it when we got ringside at that SSE arena. It's going to be something special on November the 18th. How do you view opponent to be confirmed? Yeah. Uh, how do you view that as an, an assignment before the really big things happen next year? Yeah, well, you know, we only got the deal done um, not that long ago. So, um, obviously, we're still looking at opponents. Um, at the stage that I'm at now, it, it, you know, it can't be a mug. It needs to be a credible opponent. But I'm, uh, I'm looking at getting the big boys next year, and I just want to put the the last year behind me. You know, I've had a, it was a disastrous year for myself. I lost my first fight, and the, the last fight fell through, and and everything else that's going on. It hasn't been a great year, so I want to put that behind me and get back to winning ways, and uh, and then we'll push on and, and hopefully get one of the big boys the fight after after this one. Anyone who's got any sort of promotional questions, you'll be able to deal with those with Frank Warren um, in due course rather than today or, or afterwards. Let's bring the, the other boys who are in the build. Jamie, he probably feels like this has been a long time coming, but it's arrived. Um, how are you feeling 
about the prospect of challenging for a world title? Well, uh, I'd known about it for a few weeks now. I'd never let myself get overly excited as I've been let down in the past on previous occasions um, with, with big shows and big fights. But um, finally now, today, the press comes is here and the, the, everything is done and dusted. And I can let myself enjoy it. I'm just looking forward now to get back over to camp, get back work with Danny Vaughan and, and get into the nitty gritty. Jamie's going to be fighting a, a Filipino guy called Joe and Cajas, who featured on the Manny Pacquiao Jeff Horn undercard just a, a month or so ago, um, and he looked good on on that occasion. How, have you started looking at him as an opponent and the the, the things that he brings? Uh, I was actually at that fight in um, Brisbane. He, uh, we trained. My, my brother was um, had the same time scale the whole fight week, so I got to see him up close and personal. Uh, the week of the fight, I got to see his um, emotions, his reactions, and we paid a close loop because um, the lads at MTK, Daniel had told me just to be ready, be ready for the WBO or IBF, both of what we were highly ranked with. So I really rate him. I know I have to be at my very, very, very best to beat this guy, and it's a fight I wholeheartedly, 100% believe I can win, and um I'm very excited. I'm very excited to put on a great performance for the Belfast fans. That's one of two world title fights on the bill for you as well. Zolani Tetti is going to be in town, folks. If you've not seen him box, um, you want to get a ticket. Besides these guys, he is dynamite. He's one of the most talented boxers I've ever seen uh, up close. He defends his WBO uh, title as well. Paddy Barnes with his WBO uh, European uh, flyweight title on the line as well. Paddy, first time... You trio have, have boxed on a, a professional bill together. How exciting is that going to be? Yeah, it's great. Uh, <coughs> I think that was your hair gel. Must be, I. Uh, no, it's great. Uh, I used to, used to love going, going to watch obviously, Carl, because the way he filled out the all, you know, it's, it's a brilliant spectacle. Um, um, it's a brilliant spectacle, and I just honoured to be able to fight on a double world title on the card, but obviously front on too. How, how have you adjusted, adapt, found life as a pro? Um, to be honest, with you, it was probably a bit not harder, a bit stranger than I expected. Um, I still feel the need to slow down. Um, I'm working a lot in, in the gym, but uh, my last fight was a ten rounder, and I didn't perform the way I can. I think because. Uh, I was more focused on doing the rounds than I was performing. But now I know what it's about, and I'm looking forward to showing my, my real skill in, in my next fight. Paddy's in action um, up in Scotland in Edinburgh uh, next week, and then he'll be involved defending his title on November the 18th. Let's bring in Jamie Moore, um, a new face for us, a new team with Carl too. You'll have seen Carl as a boxing fan as well as a a trainer from a distance, um, as well as, as up close ringside. What have been the things that have, have impressed you most, you've been taken by, surprised by, maybe now you're actually working with him closely in the gym? Um, I think I've always appreciated, like everybody else has, um, what a talented fighter Carl is. Um, I think he's got some amazing attributes, it's just, which comes so natural to him. Um, and, do you know, speaking with him over, over the last couple of weeks um, I was trying to gauge what sort of stages that is in his career you know in his mind to see sort of what sort of ambitions there and it's like he's, he's, he's coming into his prime over the last couple of weeks um, he's enjoying boxing again and uh, and I've said for for many years a happy fighter is always performs better you always get the best out of him and uh, and he's training with a smile on his face May not be over the next couple of weeks. <laughs> that expression might change on the tougher days. But I believe you're going to see the best Carl Frampton because, um, as I say, he's enjoying his boxing once again, and, and, and that's the main thing. Uh, you've um, been involved in big fights yourself. You've, you've been ringside at some big gigs. Have, have, have you got any sense of how special these occasions are in Belfast? I had a little snippet of it. I was, I was uh, ringside for Scott Quigg um, against Carl, and... I did a video and put it on social media saying, you may as well be in Belfast. The atmosphere was amazing that night and, and literally the whole arena, it sounded like was behind Carl and we was in Scott Quigg's hometown. So that tells you 
a story about the fans um, from Belfast who travelled across. It was a fantastic atmosphere, great performance by Carl, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what it's really like. I boxed him, I boxed at the King's Hall myself twice, so I know, I know what the Belfast fans are like, but um, I, apparently it's going to take it to another level, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Tickets on sale Wednesday, folks, uh, down at the box office or on SSA Arena, Belfast.com. Uh, Carl, where are you now emotionally in, in terms of your, your gym work building up to November 18th? Uh, I, I'm feeling good. Um, I, I think that, that my weight's good this far out, which is, isn't usually that good. Obviously, it needed to be good after missing the weight the last fight, so um, I've been paying close attention to that. Um, I, j I had a spar yesterday, first spar, um, just to kind of get my eye in, only four rounds, just to test the water, and I was trying things out that we've been working on already in the gym, and I feel like the spar went, went pretty well, I think Jamie was happy with it too, so um, I'm in a good position at the minute, we've about, I think we've less than eight weeks now till the fight, but um, I'll be ready on, on fight night for, for whoever it is. How do you feel about having Jamie and Paddy on the bill as well? It's great. Um, obviously, Putty, Putty's one of my best mates, and me and Jamie are good friends too. Um, Jimmy Conlon has been involved in probably <laughs> three or four of the most exciting fights I've ever seen. Um, he's, he's a tremendous fighter, just all action style, and never makes a fight easy for himself. He'll probably admit that himself. Um, goes to war every single time, so I think he's one of the most exciting fighters uh, in the country. Um, and to be sharing a bill alongside him, him fighting for a world title, it's, it's great. And, and obviously, Paddy defending his uh, WBO European Championship of the World. Um, he's, uh, <laughs> he's, Paddy, you know, Paddy's at the start of his career. Everyone knows about Paddy, he's a character. Um, he'll have great fun um, in the build up to the fight. But Paddy, in my eyes, isn't too far away from, from boxing for major titles and, and I know that, that he that one day he can be a world champion as well as Jimmy. Paddy, how long do you think it is before Carl's going to be appearing on your undercards? I think um, by the time I get that stage he'll be retired so <laughs> probably never. And Jamie, um, to be involved in a, a big bill back in Belfast but to be fighting for a, a world title, but put that into words for us. I uh, always used to love fighting on cards, on the cards in Belfast before. It's very hard to describe the atmosphere. I remember being in one of the early Odyssey fights and just standing going, this is unreal, and it got bigger and bigger. So to be part of it in a, in a meaningful, meaningful fight and an exciting fight it is going to be um, something that an emotion that I'm going to have to kind of control on fight week and, and on the night. It's something I'm looking forward to. Okay, we're going to throw open uh, the questions uh, to the, the press. Before I do, I'm just going to ask you for, for one line from ev everyone, uh, for the fans. Carl, you start. A, a line for the fans, building up to the fight. Put me on the spot here. Um, a line? I don't know. Don't we tell a joke? No, <laughs> no. Uh, no just I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back in Belfast. Um, I keep harping on about it, but I love this place. My favourite city in the world. Um, I feel like I'm constantly promoting it wherever I go and, and talking to people about how good it is now. Um, and uh, hopefully, with with the help of, of everyone involved, MTK and, and BT and, and Frank, um, we can show the world um, what Belfast is all about. Jamie, what can we expect from him on the night and then next year? Honestly, I think the best is yet to come. I don't think we've seen the best Carl Frampton and... I think he's going to put in an explosive performance and I think moving forward he's going to be involved in some terrific fights. Jamie, on uh, the night? On the night, it's just a night not to be missed. I think Carl will go out and make a big statement with Jamie and his new trainer and um, Belfast will have a new world champion. And Paddy? It's never very much the night, so <coughs> I will say I'm be looking tickets to get more for me. <laughs> 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 Tickets will be available, folks, on Wednesday. The SSE Arena, Belfast.com, and, of course, at the box office. There's a phone uh, line behind me uh, as well, and there will be opportunities to get them elsewhere, which will be released in the next uh, few days. Uh, right, let's um, hand out some questions. I think Dan's got the...
microphone down my man so uh, the press want to put their hands up and we'll we'll guide him uh, round to get your questions well here we go um, just to, to Jimmy Collins Jimmy there was a there was a time when you know I, I don't think you, you thought it was going to happen for you really you know because fights were being cancelled regularly on you and you came close to to hang it up the gloves, isn't that right? So obviously to have this fight confirmed is, a, is, is brilliant for you. Oh, well, that's why um, I never got really overly excited when I found out that this fight was happening, as I've been let down in the past. But now that I'm actually sitting at the, the table and ready to go in the, 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 the main kind of bulk of the camp and, and to get my, my, the nitty-gritty into it and get, it, get my teeth into it, I've never been as excited, you know. I'm, uh, it's it's a big stage. It's it's a big atmosphere. We're on BT Sport. We're a bigger audience than I've ever fought in front of. So it's it's something I've always dreamed about, and finally it's coming true. Your your brother's going to be on the December 9th bill, isn't he, in, in Madison Square Garden? Is, is he going to be able to come back? Yeah, he's actually coming um, on Saturday to come and start the camp with me and Paddy. Um, he's going to go and watch Paddy's fight in Edinburgh, and then uh, he'll be back over for the fight. Our brother is our other brother is getting married, so. It's all working out um, hand enough for him. Perfect. Perfect. Any more questions? Put your hands up. Carl, um, I suppose all changed in your regime at the moment, but just how happy are you to have everything sort of nailed down now and you have a date and something to aim for? Yeah, well, obviously I'm very happy and I can finally start talking about things and telling people that, that my plans for the future. Um, so look, it's just it's an exciting stage for me now because... You know, I'm 30 years old, but last year, last two years, I was constantly talking about the day I can I can retire. But um, now I'm excited. I'm, I'm enjoying boxing again, um, and uh, I've been telling the missus uh, probably an hour 32, and I'm out. But I could see me maybe hitting 35 now the way things are going. But she's away the toilet. I said that when when she's not here. But don't tell her. Um, so. Look, I'm enjoying it. I believe I've got another world title in me at this weight. I believe that we were looking at guys before um, in the super featherweight division, Jezreel Corrales as well, um, WBA champion. Um, I just moved up to featherweight, so I was thinking maybe it's a step too far yet and let, you know, develop more as a featherweight. But going on his last performance, I think that if we fought him... Then, then I would beat him uh, and become a three-weight world champion, which is a, a, a proper ambition of mine as well. Are there names already being mentioned? And is next year, whether it's spring or summer, outdoor stadium fight looking quite likely? Yeah, I think, I think that Windsor's going to happen. That's, you know, I, I've, I got a guarantee from, from Frank, and, and that's what I went with, with, with all the people I was talking about, that I want to fight at Windsor Park. And uh, so... Frank is guaranteeing me Windsor. Obviously, it needs to be a big name. So there, there's there's loads of names. You know, Santa Cruz. That's the fight that I desperately want because I feel like I have a score to settle. Um, you've got Selby, Gary Russell, Oscar Valdez as well, who, who's been talked about recently. Um, Josh Warrington as well, who's with BT, which is a big fight in itself. So um, a lot of potentially huge fights for me. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get them boys to fight after next <laughs> Warrington uh, fights uh, in an IBF eliminator, eliminator, I should say, on the 21st of October. So potentially he, if he beats Dennis Salem, will be one step uh, closer to getting that belt. And who knows, further down the line, and that's maybe a big fight. Any uh, more questions, folks? Microphone's there. Put your hand up. If you want to ask, don't be shy. Steve Lillis, Box Nation. I don't know. Look, I've, I've had I've had good exposure, and that's it, really. Um, and I think that obviously the, the TV station, local TV, I've got behind me, um, BBC Northern Ireland, New TV, and um, people are seeing me a lot in the in the papers as well. So um, I don't know, really. You know, I, I've done quite well in the fights, and I've, I've been performing. Um, but Belfast loves its boxers, and um, we've a, a history of producing good. Good wee men, you know, the smaller fighters like myself. Look, you look at the top table here, three, three wee men. Um, and uh, 
I think that I, I don't know. I can't really put my finger on it, but they, they support their own. As long as you're not a clown, um, they'll get behind you. <laughs> little big men, I think we'll say. Little big men. Uh, yeah, listen, Belfast. They get behind the sports. There's no doubt about it, and they get behind their sports people. Uh, any more questions? Hands up. Don't be shy. We're not in the classroom. No. Okay. All right. Well, listen. Thank you so much to everyone for, for turning out today. This is just the start of uh, Carl Frampton on BT Sport and uh, a continuation back on Box Nation. And it could just be the start of an amazing adventure alongside Jamie Conlon and indeed Paddy Barnes as well. Tickets are going to be available on Wednesday. Get those from sseArena.com as well as at the box office. There'll be other outlets and we'll have news on that um, and more releases courtesy of Frank Warren and the team. Thanks very much uh, to Jamie Moore, to Carl Frampton, to Paddy Barnes and Jamie Conlon, and you will be seeing them again very soon. Thank you. <laughs>